Terrell Pryor, number one player in the country, dual threat, uh, one of the best dual threats that I've seen because he had that tremendous size-speed combination. Now, mechanically, he wasn't pretty throwing the football. You know, we've seen that at every level uh, that he still struggled mechanically. But he got the ball where he needed to be at the high school level and even, you know, at the level uh, of, of the elite at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Uh, but his game was really that run-pass threat. You know, he was a guy that you had to defend as a runner. Uh, he was that big quarterback that could bounce off people with deceptive speed, a tremendous athlete. He was going to go Division One in basketball to pit before he decided to focus on football. Uh, I always said when I saw him in seven-on-sevens that it was Superman without his cape. He was a guy that, you know, just didn't fit into the seven-on-seven -seven world of things. Um, you know, his, his mechanics really hindered him there. His accuracy was awful. When you got him in a game, when he could get outside of the pocket, when he could bring the defense up and throw over them, or if they respected the pass, he could run right through them. He was just a, a dominant player. I still to this day think that if he had stayed his last year, not got involved in all that tattoo gate stuff, that he might have led Ohio State to a national championship. He was that type of franchise player. I remember the first game against USC. He looked like the only player on Ohio State who belonged uh, in that game when you talk about the loaded USC roster and it didn't surprise me at all that he made an immediate impact in college football. It doesn't surprise me now that he's uh, trying out as a wide receiver all these years later with Cleveland. Just a tremendous athlete. That Western PA competition he just toyed with. It was kind of uh, scary to watch some of these smaller guys try to tackle him or some of these slower guys try to get an angle on him. But when he lit up the U.S. Army All-American Bowl against the best in the country, that's when he kind of knew this was a special football player and, and really cemented his number one ranking for us.